guys Ogs here from the us thank you so much for watching in today's video we are going to talk about chiesa boga rice and ampadu but before anything you know what to do help your brother out subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below share and also don't forget to watch some ads because it's gonna help your brother out with few bucks here and there don't forget to follow me on social media especially on twitter because i always follow people back another day many other links to chelsea football club but let me make it clear from the beginning it's not frank lampard's fault it's not the club fault that we are linked to pretty much everybody under the sun so there are so many people out there that just looking for something to insult somebody i don't get it this is the game we are in okay we have agent trying to get better deals for their client or move them to another club so the only way they can speculate a little bit and put a lot of pressure on the current club is just to link they are client with uh, other potential teams and you have also the family members you have friends the workers at the club trying to sell some information so they can get some money for themselves don't forget also that the tv companies are there the betting companies the newspapers all trying to survive then comes social media and youtube and all that we get information from those big boys and then we try to treat the information some of us are going to just uh, speculate and some of us will take some time to do some research and connect the dot and use a little bit of common sense to present you with the best information they can so that the way it is so I am surprised to see so many people attacking the club, attacking Frank Lampard all the time. We are linked with somebody and they forgot that uh, Frank Lampard has nothing to do with the scouting department. You know, that their job, their job is scouting players. No matter what, even if we don't need anybody, they have to do their job because they are paid to do that. So it's not because we are scouting somebody or we've been linked with somebody that we are going to buy. You know what I mean? So far, we've been linked to more than 100 players, you know? And how many signings? Hakim Ziyech. Sorry, guys, for preaching too much. But with my little influence in the community, I feel like it's my duty to help people understand certain basics of football. The ABC, I'm not gonna use all the graphics and all that, but I try to use a little bit of common sense to help you think outside the box. Okay, enough with my blah, 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 blah. Let's get back to business. Federico Chiesa from Fiorentina, 22 years old, winger. He can play in both wings and he can also play as a midfielder but he prefers to play uh, in the right wing and so far this season he has six goals and five assists but i was surprised to see his goal ratio was lower than williams wow that is a scary stat right but when i looked at his age only 22 i thought myself he can improve he's still very young and i don't really care about goals at the moment even though that's what we need at chelsea football club right now right so at 22 i'm confident he can change and he's a very good player according to you know everything that i read and you know watch a little bit of highlights and all that a good player in general but do we really need this guy at Chelsea Football Club? Is this a kind of winger that we need? Yes, we know that uh, William and Pedro are leaving and we need at least one more winger. 
we don't know if Jadon Sancho is going to sign for us. We don't know, but all we know is that we have another very good winger in Jeremy Boga who is there just waiting for the call because we have the power, okay? The power is ours. So this is something that we don't even have to fight with anybody. All we have to do is pay the release clause and we have the player and it's going to be very cheap compared to this guy here, Chiesa, who is... Um, who is going to cost that between 35 million to 50 million or 60 something like that it's crazy money okay and when I compare his stats to Jeremy's Jeremy's is far better than this guy on paper of course because you have to play and prove us that you can do it but for me really if I have to choose between Frederico Chiesa and Jeremy Boga, I will go for Jeremy Boga and that has nothing to do with my bias opinion because everybody knows that I am biased sometimes when it comes to the Chelsea Academy product but in this case I don't see anything special about Frederico Chiesa and I think this is just paper talk agent trying to get him a better deal at Fiorentina or move him to another club and all the tactics from agent and maybe because of the slow news and everybody knows that Chelsea are looking for a winger and you know it's a very good and easy news to make I don't see it happening I don't see Chelsea spending 35 million on this dude here when we can get somebody better somewhere else this is just paper talk this is fake news according to me but you never know this is football anything can happen just keep your mind open next news is about Declan Rice everybody knows the story about Declan Rice he used to be in the Chelsea Academy best friend with Mason Mount we released him when he was 14 years old i believe or correct me if i'm wrong and he went to be a decent player at west ham okay that's what i can say at the moment i don't have really a sentiment attachment to rice the way i do with other academy products because i didn't know him that much According to the report, West Ham already set up a price for Rice and it's going to be 70 million. And Man United and Chelsea are the more likely destination for decline Rice. So my question is, do we really need Rice at the moment? I don't know. Everybody got an opinion and I have to respect that. He can play as a center back or in the midfield that is exactly the role of Eaton Ampadu right so Eaton is 19 almost 20 years old now Rice is 21 and I don't see a big difference really when I compare them the big difference for me is that uh, Rice has a lot of experience in the Premier League and Eaton Ampadu is having some tough time this season on loan at Leipzig. Eaton Ampadu being victim of a bad loan and I hope we can learn from this and start including some clause in the contract so if they don't play a certain amount of games we can recall them at any time and I feel good about it because it's going to help us in the future remember we started including buyback clothes when we made a mistake with Lukaku De Bruna and Salah the same learning process is going to help us this time for the loan army and if I was given a chance to choose between Rice and Ampadu I would take Ampadu because he's for free and he has almost the same quality as rice but 
you never know if the club decide to go for rice i'm not gonna be hard on rice i'm gonna just accept it because i have no choice at the end of the day i don't believe we have enough money to go for rice and also for sancho and other targets because we also have some financial trouble i don't care what people are saying and i already made a video explaining the basics of finances and we don't have that much money as many people try to make us believe we are struggling we have to pay full wages for players and all that and the money that we saved for Eden Hazard or Murata or whatever it is were used to cover the cost of running a football club. So at the end of the day, it's not my money, it's not my decision to make and I will accept anything that uh, the club are going to impose us. So let me know what you think about Frederico Chiesa, Jeremy Boga, Ethan Ampadu, Decline Rice, and everything that I said between. Think outside the box and see you in the next one. Stay at home, save lives, we're all in this together. Keep the blue flag flying high! Beijing to Borders Club in China. Hello from the New York Blues of the USA. Stay home, save lives. We're in this together.